I want you. You... You want me? For what, exactly? Is, is there some traditionally male-oriented activity that you need help with, like to hang a picture or move, like, a, a bookshelf or, or kill a spider? Because No, no, Spinelli, I don't need you to kill any spiders or move a bookshelf or hang a picture. I don't need you to do anything. I want you back. Wait. You, you, you made it very clear that our venture into coupledom was null and void, and that you didn't look on me as anything more than a, a, than a friend, so what... What precipitated this sudden change in feeling? It wasn't all that sudden. Remember when you came to see me after the pathogen scare and you, you told me that if you couldn't have my love, you refused my like? In retrospect, that ultimatum seems arbitrary. Well, it worked. I started missing you while you were standing right there. And then when you left, my mom told me this um, story about her and my dad and Mac. And I realized she was right. W right. Right about you and your mom and Mac? No, right about my feelings for you and that you are kind of like my Mac. You equate me to your stepfather? No, it's like a metaphor or a simile or whatever. Look, the story doesn't, the, doesn't matter. My mom helped me realize that you're not this dependable guy who I can just lean on whenever I need him and ignore him whenever I don't. You mean a lot more to me than that. And once I was able to, to look at my feelings, I could see them for what they were. Back to your feelings are mercurial on a good day. I love I'm you. Sure. I'm in love with you. Why did you wait until now to tell me? I have been trying to tell you I love you for weeks. I, I even worked up courage the night of the bachelor party. I came to see you, and I walked in. You were there with Ellie. You were making a date. I do remember your behavior was puzzling, even for you. So I thought I would have an opportunity the next day at Sunny's wedding, and then you arrived. You were with Ellie. I realized that was the date oh, you were making. Okay, well, why didn't you pull me aside? Find a quiet corner. There were no quiet corners at that wedding. The valid point was chaotic, and but then there Ellie was... just turned out to be so, so nice. You know, I thought you were dating her because she was free at the time, and I was still with Matt, but... Now that's settled. Settled? Well, Matt and I are over, emotionally and legally. I divorced him for you. Well, you shouldn't have done that. That would keep him out of prison. <sighs> I guess that was an admirable goal. Except Matt accepted his prison sentence, and he had no intention of holding on to me. It just took me a little while to realize that I don't love him. I love you. So you keep saying. And yet you're not saying much of anything. Spinelli, come on, what are you thinking? Please, say something. I I'm trying to formulate my recollection. Um, I, I do remember you telling me that you were free. And you didn't say one word. It was a rather precipitous announcement, considering it did come in the middle of the floating rib when I was on a date with Ellie. You're always on a date with Ellie. Halloween, my birthday. I thought I was going to be able to celebrate that with you, and I wound up being the third wheel. I was lucky I got one measly dance with you. You cut in on a dance with me and Ellie. So I raised the topic of my divorce again because it, it wasn't embarrassing enough the first time. And again, you have this weird, like, non-reaction. You did manage to tell me that you didn't think Matt was the right guy for me, but you just walked off. <laughs> I was distracted by an interesting costume. But that doesn't matter now. Because right after that, I saw you looking at me. And I know that you knew I wanted you back. You knew that night, didn't you? It doesn't matter, but it, you knew. And yet you still invited Ellie to be your roommate. Ellie invited herself. Yeah, but you agreed despite my objections. What was I supposed to say? Sorry, Ellie, no, you can't move in with me. I'm in love with your boyfriend. Okay, maybe not that blatant, but some variation of the truth would have I been helpful. I just figured when you would come over to see Ellie, I might have the opportunity to tell you how I feel. It, it didn't occur to you to request a meeting at, I don't know, a park, a restaurant, a, a quiet nook no. of a library? No, that did not occur to me. And you know what else didn't occur to me? That you would launch into an epic makeout session with someone else in my apartment standing right in front of me. Did you even notice that I disappeared? 
I assumed you went out to socialize. I couldn't stand to see you with another woman. You were jealous? Jealous. And completely heartbroken, so I staggered over to the Haunted Star and opened a vein to Dante and Lulu. You confided in others? Lulu told me she thought I should be honest with you and tell you how I feel, so... I called your cell phone, but you didn't answer. Well, I was, I was otherwise engaged. No kidding. I was determined to talk to you the next morning until I saw you walk out of Ellie's room in nothing but your boxers, and that's when I realized you didn't answer your phone because you two were having sex. I apologize if I seemed inconsiderate, but I, I know I... Sitting here with the two of you, I, um... I realized I had to be honest and just tell you how I feel. And that could have been a mistake, maybe not. But it's your call. My heart is on the table. This is... The truth. I, I want to be with you, Spinelli. I love you. Do you want to be with Ellie or do you want to be with me?